we're absolutely thrilled to get the recognition of Green Campus status here, which is national recognition. However, what a lot of people might know is we've been doing this for the past 20 years. We've been promoting the green agenda here at Kinsale College. It's in our DNA. It's in everything we do, included in every one of our courses that we have here at the college. This is great news, but it hasn't come from nowhere. Transition Town Movement started here in a classroom in Kinsale College over 20 years ago. It's now a global movement, so we are extremely proud of that. I used to work in Pierce College, so they had an established green committee and green campus there. Um, so I just thought when I transferred to Kinsale College that it's, it's just a great formal structure that adds in so many aspects to sustainability. And it's, it's formalised, you have the waste, the water, the energy, the biodiversity, procurement, so you can just start working away. I was the chairperson for the Green Campus at Kinsale College last year and we did a whole variety of little events um, based at the college but we invited the public in as well. The first one we did was a biodiversity day where we were showing people how to make bat boxes and doing wildflower mats and kind of getting people into the idea that they can create a habitat wherever they are for wildlife. We had a really good time organising and actually doing the swap shop where people would bring in clothes that they didn't want anymore and hopefully get something out of it, swap it for another piece of clothing, which was really fun. We did another really cool activity just around sustainability and seed saving, uh, which was great crack, um, and people were very motivated and interested. And we hope that we're influencing people, and that's one of the key aspects of the Green Campus uh, designation is that it's not just a bubble, it's like you're trying to influence some people by putting up posters, by bringing in other courses, and then like linking in with the community as well. So one of the things we've done here in the college is we've made contact with local primary schools, we've created gardens with them. Um, there's an awful lot more to do and as soon as we're allowed and able to get access to more schools um, and do more outreach work, that, that's our next step, that's where we want to go.